Hey folks. Um, all right. So I was actually working on an, a whole different video for today, but this just happened and this requires its own video. Uh, I had a bad rider experience. Just a, uh, not the last ride. I just dropped off somebody here at the airport, but the one right before that, I was actually afraid of these passenger well one of these passengers there was two people um but let me kind of give you the story first of all i get the the call i'd been over in the uh, uh area of madison most of the day and um uh, i got a call and i started heading toward the uh, pickup and then i get a phone call getting the recording normally the recording I get is something like this is a Lyft customer calling about the ride well this I got a recording this time and it was saying this is an unknown number so I hung up didn't take it and because I, I figured well this isn't a Lyft ride this is a solicitor or something and so I hung up they called right back so I went ahead and took it this time and it was a female say, said, uh, are you the Lyft driver? I said, yeah. And she said, well, we're in building V. I said, V is in voice? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'm in the complex. I will find you and, and, uh, and I'll, I'll be there as quick as I can. And she said, okay. And she said, call back this number if you need to. Which I didn't. I should it should have registered and clicked with me right then that they were calling from a different number than what's listed on the on the uh, account owners app but it didn't register with me right then so I was just like yeah, okay I you know because the way Lyft works is when somebody calls you through the app it routes their number through a forwarding type service so you don't see their number they don't see your number and uh it's, it's for privacy for both the driver and the passenger and you know it's a good thing but she hadn't given me uh actually given me a number to call back she just said call back this number so again i wasn't thinking so i'm looking for the apart uh building v and i got up to like s and i couldn't find anything beyond that um and so I call back through the app and a, a guy answers. And I'm like, man, I'm in here in the apartment complex. I'm trying to find you guys. Uh, you know, I got up to building us. I couldn't find it. Can you help me out? And he hangs up on me. And I'm thinking at that point, which, and I think I, I should have done this. I should have just canceled right then. I should have just canceled the, the thing right then because it was something was fishy. And I kind of felt like something was fishy. Uh, but I didn't. And I, I I kept going, kept looking. I pulled out of the apartment complex and then pulled into it. I saw another little entrance nearby. And I see these two people standing by the side of the road. And I'm like, there's my rider right there. Uh, so I pull up. Are you guys waiting for a lift? Yes. They get in. I said, why did you hang up on me? And the woman says, I didn't hang up on you. Uh, you called that other number, the account owner. I'm like, oh, okay. I said, well, and I explained to her how the Lyft phone system works. I said, I didn't have a number. You, you know, you would have had to have actually given me a number to call you back if you wanted me to ring a different number other than what's on the account. I didn't understand, and I was trying to explain it to her, and I, I think she got it. So anyway, uh, as the ride goes on a little bit further, I get another call and it looks like it's a lift call. And she's like, oh, don't answer that. Don't answer that. So I just declined it. I thought she had tried to call me from the app again and by accident. She says, no, that's the account owner trying to call you. And I'm like, well, what's going on with this account? You know, 
And she said, oh, it's just this whole long story. It's a whole big thing. And she won't tell me what's going on. Now, this trip is actually about eight miles. It's an eight-mile trip. So, at this point, I'm thinking, you know, something is, is definitely wrong here. I heard her say something to the, to the guy that was riding with her. And he's the scary one, by the way. The guy that was riding with her, she said something to him like, well, he wanted me to use a, a discount code because it cost $14 for this ride or whatever. And uh, I just didn't. I didn't use it. And that's why he's calling. So I, I'm thinking, I need to just, I should just cancel this trip. I should just get, drop them off somewhere and say, your trip's canceled. Please find another Lyft driver. But I didn't. Uh, and the whole time I'm looking at this this dude in the back seat and he sits behind me which I don't like to begin with but there was two people you know when there's two people I, it's not as big of a deal but uh, but he's sitting right behind me and I can see his eyes in the mirror and he's you know it's one of those if looks could kill this guy would have killed me with the looks he's given me like he just hates me and I'm getting this awful vibe from him. I'm really kind of, I'm really pretty scared at this point, thinking, what, is this guy going to try to rob me? Is he going to, you know, is he going to try to, what's he, what is he going to do? Because he's looking really suspicious. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking about where I've got my protection. You know, most Lyft and Uber drivers carry some kind of protection with them and I'm no different I do have I can reach and get something to protect myself with in just a second and so I'm you know I'm thinking about those things and I'm thinking I hope I don't have to use the, these things you know and, um, but anyway I, I just kind of shut up and tried to get them to the destination as quick as possible ended up dropping them off and I gave them this is the first time I've ever done this on lift I gave them a, a two star rating I should have gave them a one star but I've heard that if you give three stars or less that you're never matched with that rider again so that's the main reason I did that it wasn't because they really were you know attacking me or anything like that it was just the vibe I got it was so it was and I put this in the notes and comments for, for the uh, lift when I gave them two stars you know that something was very fishy about the ride uh, I tried to call the passenger it's the uh, rider was not the owner of the account and I tried to call and they hung up on me and you know they were very scary and that's the truth I actually you know I could feel my adrenaline going during this time that's how uh, that's how scared I, I actually was and, um, that's not happened. I've had I've had one other ride where that kind of I kind of got that adrenaline rush and got a little bit you know a little bit scared. But that one did it, and it was just it was weird because they didn't actually say anything out of the way. They didn't actually do anything out of the way. It was just the looks I was getting from this guy in the back seat and the vibe that he was putting off, and then plus this little fishiness with the account. And maybe I overreact. I'm overreacting about it or whatever. But it was. It really did. It was. It was a, a scary thing. So that's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> this, you know, out of six, I've been riding uh, ride sharing basically full time for about six months now. And during that six months, that's the first. I would call bad rider experience. That's the first time I've rated somebody two stars. I can tell you that in that six months. So it doesn't happen very much. Most people are very easy to get along with. I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy, you know, picking up riders and talking to them and everything. Uh, but that one was kind of scary. And so I wanted to make a little video about it and share it with you guys. And I hope you don't run into anybody like that if you're out driving. If you're thinking about driving, don't let this deter you because this doesn't have, this is not the norm. This doesn't happen all that much. And really, nothing bad happened. It was just kind of a bad vibe I got. So, all right, guys, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out the links below. Talk to you later.